Hey, welcome to Auntie Nets Crochet. Thank you for choosing this video. Allow me to teach you how to play with yarn. Do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at this corner of the video. It will mean a lot to me. And uh, do check out my other videos too. They're all as informative and fun to learn as this video. And today I'm going to make a hairband. This hairband you can use for babies, uh, children, young children or even adults. It depends on how long you want the strap. You're going to make the strap. So I'm just going to use these two color, purple and yellow. These are, I'm going to make daisy hairband. And uh, these are 5 ply cotton yarn. And I'm going to use a 3.5 mm hook. So you can actually use any type of yarn. But uh, I prefer to use cotton yarn. And for beginners, cotton yarns are quite easy to work with. So okay, now let's start. Okay, I'm gonna show you the few that I have done. I did one with uh, one flower and I made a strap with just one flower. You can give this to a baby or even an adult or a young child with just one daisy flower. Then I have one with two daisy flower. Same thing with a strap. So here it's open just tie tie behind your head then I have one with three flowers and one with four flowers same thing same strap so you can either make four flowers three flowers two flowers or even one flower and now I'm going to show you one with five flowers and how I'm going to join the flowers. And the uh, pattern for the flower is in another post. I'm going to share in the description box. Share the link of that post in the description box. I have three sizes in that video. You're going to have a big daisy, medium daisy or a small daisy. So it's up to you whether you want it to make the flower a bigger one or a smaller one. My, this is my bigger version. You can even make a bigger than this version. <laughs> you just add two more stitch. So here, I've done halfway. Not exactly halfway, three quarter way. And I'm show you, and I'll show you how I'm gonna join it here. So this one I did with uh, 10 single crochet into the magic circle in yellow and for the petal it is 10 uh, chain 10 for every petal so now before i join to the next flower i'm gonna just chain five two four five i'm just gonna chain five now look at how i join the flower i'm gonna have 12 petals all together so i'm gonna have four over this side four over this side and two is the one that I join like this these two I join you have four petals on both sides you have four here and four here one two three four one two three four and join here so here one two three four then it should be this one so when I join here, I make sure this yarn goes to the back. One, two, three, four. This yarn goes to the back of the hook. Here, this side. And not and not like this. If you're going to join it like this when you open it up it will be kind of twisted see it will twist because this is the front part and this is the back so it's like the back facing the back i mean one will be on the back one will be at the front but actually when i joined it was the front to the front so it will be kind of twisted so you should join 
two or five you should join it this way one two three four this is the fifth one you pick it up you make sure your yarn is this side behind the hook not in front of the hook okay go behind the hook do a slip stitch and chain five because it was a chain ten so half of it is chain five and slip stitch whoops slip stitch to the core of the flower so when I slip stitch I bring this tail along one two three four five and again go to the next petal just grab one of the petal the one next to it make sure this is at the back of the hook slip stitch one two three four five and slip stitch to the first so after you slip stitch you chain one and pull tight and before you do anything drastic <laughs> don't cut the yarn first chill <laughs> check first okay these two here you have one, two, three, four, four on top, four at the bottom. Okay, so I got this right. So I'm gonna cut this yarn. The balance tail here. This is the tail from the starting of this petal and also this uh, magic circle. So I'm gonna cut this yarn. I get a tapestry needle and hide this one. I can go through all this, all this petal and it will kind of lock it in and the balance here you just cut it away and here i will have one with five five daisy so now I'll show you how I'm gonna make this strap. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this uh, strap over here. Same thing, I'm gonna have four on top here. If you notice, this is the front. This is how the front look like. And this is how the back look like. So here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this two. I'm gonna use these two. I'm going to use the one here first. Just uh, pull a yarn over. Tie a knot. Not too tight. <laughs> Just a knot. One, two, three, four. Okay. And I'm going to do chain 50.
okay so here just leave a bit of a tail like this and cut the yarn and here pull tight so one two three four you make sure he also got one two three four so this is the one one two three four so here I'm gonna pull the yarn over same thing oops same thing I'm gonna tie a knot a loose knot and here I'm gonna chain five one two three four five I'm going to do a half double crochet so I yarn over and here make sure I have five also one two three four five so I'm going to go to the sixth stitch and do my first half double crochet or you just take a look and see is this right if you find that one is longer than the other and redo so once you make sure everything is okay then do half double crochet all the way until the end I've come to the last stitch here you half double crochet chain one leave a bit of a tail pull tight and here I'm just gonna tie a knot or two knot and I show you how I'm gonna hide this tail so that it will not come off for the one with one flower I did the same it's supposed to end like this but I just add two more string in case if uh, this is too short <laughs> because I do not have a child to measure the head <laughs> I do not have a head to measure I just uh, this is just a rough idea so if it's too short then you can add yarn like this to tie but this one is actually nothing to do with this and the rest if you think it's long enough you don't have to add you just leave it like this and you just tie this in your head so here let me show you how I'm gonna hide it you can either turn it to the back or the front just feel and see which one is more tight so that once it goes in it will come out here should be tight enough go as far as my needle goes and you can see the tapestry needle here nor here which means these two yarn is gonna hide inside nicely You put through the tapestry needle, both of it. And pull. Sometimes it gets stuck. So pull one by one. I got stuck, which is good, which means it's tight enough to hide it. You pull it over nicely, make sure this part here, pull nicely, too much yarn left, 
cut your yarn you pull this and it will hide inside nicely and you won't be able to see okay, same goes for here Just put through, remember the tail, we tie a knot just now. Just put through all this chain here. Doesn't really matter because it's of the same colour. Just put through. Pool and no one will know <laughs> except for you and me <laughs> so same goes for this side let's make it go through all this and put it in the tapestry needle and pull through you remember the chain 5 here so you just pull pull both sides okay now hide this two inside here same like before just put your needle through all this half double crochet so you will notice here or here and you put through pull your tapestry needle over we actually cut a bit first cut it a bit now pull nicely and be hidden inside here there you have it so no one will know where is the end or the start <laughs> And this is how it look like, hairband, my daisy collection of hairband, for young children and adult, and even babies. So here I have one with five daisy, one with four, one with three, one with two, and one daisy. So I hope you like this pattern. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it please do share so that all your other friends and relatives can do some of this as well so thank you for watching i'll see you in my next post